Okay. Well, we sold papers, apparently. Uh, I don't know. Oh, oh, these are the different areas. So the northern suburbs, western districts, eastern factories, and southern docks. This bar illustrates your sales last week. The container represents the people of that district. The light bar illustrates how many of these papers that were sold. The more you sell, the more popular you get. The more popular you get, the more papers you can distribute. People's opinions will affect your sales as well. Likewise, a well-selling paper will also affect the people's opinion. Okay. Very good. People's political opinion. So the people's people, uh, political opinion of the people are for the loyalists and not the rebels. The loyalists' suspicion of us. So they trust us. The government trusts us. That's good. And your paper, paper's total popularity is still fairly low. Oh, it's... It, okay. Still low. You've got mail. Let's check it out. There's nothing more heartbreaking than a misguided public. I said that weird. In a world controlled by the media, the loyalist government will stop at nothing to protect the people from frivolous lies and irresponsible gossip. The public culture bill is for your protection. Okay, more propaganda. That's great. That's just wonderful. Local, f oh boy, we have a lot of, we got a lot of reading to hear. Okay, local factory hires scabs. Local shell factory announced today its intention to bring women into the work workplace. Scabs, what the hell are, what are scabs? Are, is that like derogatory for women? It, it might be, I mean, it's what they're talking about, I guess. Okay, women into the workplace, that's cool. Uh, owner described this as both with the times and cost effective. Well, I mean, I hope so. The announcement came shortly after a massive strike against the company's dangerous working environment. There's always somebody right for the job, the owner said to the press. Okay. Uh, I, I mean, let's go against this one because it shows that strikes work and I think that's that's anti-loyalist and so we'll go with we'll go with this uh, child murder midwife arrested okay so midwife arrested for attempting to aid minor with unwanted what the hell okay maybe I should read the article tragedy struck today as a local midwife at Lib Liberty Square Hospital was arrested for attempted murder the midwife of Mrs. Lana R Reynolds was caught performing an abortion on one of the expecting mothers she claimed to have done this on the mother's behest as she was unable to provide for the child the mother was 14 years old so the story we got here is a midwife kind of like a maid I think was trying to give an abortion to a 14 year old you know chick and people didn't like it she was arrested okay so basically we can spin it spin it as you know child murder or that she was trying to help her out how will this affect the opinion of the government on in our eyes how, how is this going to sway the uh, public opinion of the government well obviously the government arrested her so they probably don't care for abortion so uh, we can, we can, I, I guess we'll go along with the government and be anti, you know, like midwife committed murder. We'll get rid of that and we'll, we'll, we'll send it out like that. Yeah, we'll, I, I, I guess, <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty good headline for selling papers at least. Cartoonist arrested for slander. Uh-oh. Government arrests a man for cartoon. Cartoonist arrested for slander. Cartoon artist for the Great Western Inn. Queer. Details of the charges are unclear, but include slander producing treasonous material. This came after the recent comic strip, The Government Body, which cast several public figures as different body parts. Okay. Um, maybe we just shouldn't send this one out. Maybe we should just not cover this one because I imagine the government doesn't want this coming to light. Possibly. We'll come back to that. Because we can deny them? Okay. Fashion designer Secret Lover speaks out. Fast food chain plans to make 
way into Westport. Right, let's check that out. The flu giant enters into Westport with a bang. It's a weird A. It looks like a looks like a cake or a stack of cans. I don't know. Food giant enters massive fast food chain and Jolie's has finally made his way into Westport. With restaurants all over the world, the food giant has quickly risen to be the world's largest international food chain. Located in the western districts, the chain's first restaurant in Westport will open its doors to the public next weekend. Alright, I think that's a fairly good article. I mean, it's fairly neutral. Man attacks police officer. Man defends teenager. Police officer presses charges. Well, I think it's obvious which side of that we're going to spin. One teenager was caught writing rebel messages on walls close to Liberty Square. A police officer witnessed the act and intervened by attacking, by tackling the teenager. The arrest was interrupted by a passerby who pulled the officer away from the teenager. Uh, okay. Both the man and the teenager were arrested when the officer's partner arrived on the scene. Let's, uh, let's do that, I guess. I mean, I don't know what I would edit. I mean, I guess you could play this game as anti-government, I think, and then you'll probably end up getting heat, but I don't think that's how we want to play. I think we want to play it safely in the first go. Uh, I think that sounds good. Public interest groups pan Westport Theater. Okay, let's let's just get let's get through this. Let's do this. Public's outrage to Eastport Theater Company's immoral casting of Harriet. Mm. Long-awaited rendition of Harriet. However, public interest groups like the R's have protested its immoral casting choices. They refer to the choices casting men in the roles of Greta and Olivia. This was terrible to the old theater and this anniversary of the author's passing. I mean... Oh, goodness. I didn't want to do that. Okay. I... Hmm. We'll go for the... For the very... The edgy headline. And then just send it out. We'll, we'll do that. Okay, so... Doubtful opinions of the government. So we'll just give you... We'll give you that one. We'll give uh, the police officer to... Phil? Yeah. Let's give it a Phil. Oh, uh, what? I thought he's a... Oh, crap. No, I want to read his bio. Uh, okay. I don't want to force him to do anything just now, but I thought Phil is his loyalist supporter. Lives in the Western Districts. Live with dis... Oh, disabled brother. Went to private college. All right, let's let's give you the let's give you that one. I mean, I'll I'll be I'll play nice for now, but if it comes down to it, you got to do your job, man. Uh, man attacks police officer. Let's give that to give that to Frank. And Anne can get the local factory. She cannot. Why? What? Why? What's? 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 What's so bad about this? It's a good thing they're hiring women workers. It's not like I'm making you write them as like scabs or whatever the hell that was about. Let's read this one. Former model slanders designer. Fashion designer secret lover speaks out. Uh, the agency claims the model in question was like go to to alcohol abuse. Let's go with the edgy title. Edgy has reached the public stage with accusations of sexual deviancy from a formerly employed model. Traded intimate favors only to get fired after falling out. I mean, uh. Mm, okay. Let's do that. I want to get this one out, but nobody will seem to take it. What if, uh. What if we give it to Frank? And then give her the police officer. What the hell? Okay, um, can you, can you do child murder? Yes, you can, okay. Phil, did I already give you this one? Damn it, I did, okay. There's nobody, re nobody really wants to write about the police. Let's give it to Frank. God damn it. Okay, Julie. Julie. Oh, okay, okay, fine. Somebody's gonna write this goddamn paper, and you know who it's gonna be. It's gonna be 
fill. And he's gonna write the shit out of it. It's gonna be great. He's gonna love it. Yeah, just do it. I don't give a shit anymore. You gotta write the paper. It's a good paper, man. It's a good paper. I'm real. Just screw you, Frank. Screw you. I'm real disappointed at our editor. Why is that? Criminalizing moral courage while officers violently act however they want? How could I not be? Oh, come on, you're gonna believe that crap about the guy being innocent? He was obviously a rebel supporter, attacking man of the law because he stopped the spread of rebel propaganda. Yeah, Frank. Screw you, Frank. I think you're all high and mighty because you went to a private college. I mean, you're probably smart, but... And you probably wrote a good article, but that's why I gave it to you. Alrighty. Southern Docs likes us. Northern Suburbs could give less of a shit. Couldn't give less of a shit. People's political opinion. They're more for the rebels, but... And they... They're more suspicious. Um, okay. I don't know why. I, I didn't do anything. Dear Editor, as you are probably aware by now, when we were finally able to stop the notorious Northern Herald from spreading their lies to the public, we were also forced to shut down their affiliated marketing agency. As it so happens, your paper, the Westport Independent, used the same agency. This means that from now on, you'll have to take care of advertising yourselves. Additionally, because of your affiliation with the perpetrators, we'll be keeping a close eye on you for the time being. The Loyalist Party of Westport. Okay, so basically, we're watching you. Oh, as tyrants grow, so does the need for civil disobedience. Oh boy. Join the rebellion today. Workers against oppressors, numbers against class. So I'm beginning to think that the female workers might have swayed opinion towards anti-government because they might be for calling women scabs for some reason. Uh, we could talk about the car accident. People love that, I guess. Movie star crashes a car, leaves without a scratch. Um, spotlight was knocked down. The renowned movie star Harold Finn suffered an accident yesterday evening. What if we just do that and it makes... Yeah, I think I saw that in like a trailer. That's good. Uh, pirate radio station gets shut down. Government cracks down on subvers subversive propaganda. Uh, that sounds... Uh, not good. I mean, I don't know. Last night, police raided a local warehouse. Okay, so that's that's properly purged. Uh, the station broadcast mostly imported music by blacklisted artist artists. Okay. Employees were all arrested. All right, let's leave that out. Okay. Um, let's let's do that. Let's give it to, we can give it to oppose the loyalists before they come in, came into the power, came into power. Let's give it to Julie for now. Let's give this to, let's give this to Anne. It's the, the safe piece. She's a parent. She's got things to think about. She's married. Confidence the police grows. Sounds nice. Government survey claims an increase in police confidence. Oh, <laughs> government survey. <laughs> uh, okay. New statistics claim that the public's confidence in the police has increased during the last few months. This is believed to stem from a recent event where a police officer managed to stop both a teenager and his adult accomplice. Oh, so that was the last piece, or you know, the one before that. Always be the okay. This is let's leave that out and do that. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, Phil give it to you. I mean, Phil's, Phil's loyalist, so he'll like that. Northern Herald shuts its doors. Rebels influence Westport papers. All right, how can we spin this one? Please scare populace with, okay, let's just not do that. Rebels, in, yeah, let's, let's, let's get rid of that. We don't want any heat on us. Well, Stern's son declares bankruptcy. 200 employees lose their jobs. The large number of unemployed citizens has just got larger as Well, Stern's son goes bankrupt. That's... That's accusatory. Small furniture maker... 
company had been steadily losing money over the last five years. Employed around 200 people in their factories and stores. Mm, what else we got? Can we only do four at a time? P public culture claims. Oh, god damn it. Today, after almost a century of publication, the popular magazine, its sudden dismantlement was due to violations of the guidelines. The paper's marketer advertised in several of was also shut down. Okay, so fairly standard. Frank, all right. Because we can only do four at a time, right? We have to pick and choose. All right, pick articles from here and drag them onto an empty page of the paper. All right, so does the layout, I wonder, um, affect it. All right, so let's let's put this. Uh... Oh wait. Oh, so it's like the 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 front page. Okay. So what should our front page be? Front page should be. Um. Let's be a celebrity newspaper. That sounds great. Then we'll. <laughs> I mean, I guess. No, let's uh, let's let's go with that, and then uh, we can only do. Oh, it's the. Fr mm, I don't. Okay, then we'll do that. And then that. Industrial side. Okay. Marketing. Drag slider to change your marketing focus between the different districts. Oh. Okay. Well, I know we were doing really good in the southern docks, so let's let's do more of that. And then eastern factories, and then I guess western. Split it between the two. Uh, I I mean, I guess southern docks. I I mean, we're not really industrial though. About 300,000 main in industries are shipping and logistics, Eastern, uh, upper class. See, we got more celebrities, so let's, let's, let's bust it into there. See, I guess these are set. These are kind of like the, the classes. They like celebrity news, celebrity and industrial crime news. So the Western should probably be, be our thing. Yeah, Western and Northern, I guess. Which is, well, they prefer they actually prefer societal. They don't even like they don't even care about industrial. So we'll 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 back off on we'll back off on this one and this one a bit, and then raise the Southern, like that. Okay, that's how we're gonna do it. Pass through the sudden docks on my way home to pick up some stuff from my friend. My gosh, that whole place just becomes more run down every year. I'm surprised you even dare to go there. There are just so many criminals there who will rob you blind if you make one single mistake. It's not that bad. I've walked through. I walked though there. I've walked th through there before. Okay, just kind of misspelled. Well, it's a ratty place to say the least. Personally, I've never been attacked. It's got to yeah. I've got to agree with Phil on this one. I've had friends who've been assaulted there, so there's no way I'd go near that place without reliable company. Women probably shouldn't walk alone in those parts of the city anyways. A woman should be able to walk alone anywhere without fear of her life. Well, hot damn, go, go, Jilly. Or Julie, sorry. Not Jilly. So we've got nine weeks left. Um, before we go any further, I'm going to stop this session here. It's been around half an hour for me. Um, also, we did really good in the southern docks, like I predicted, because, you know, the whole analytic thing, but that's really cool. So, popularity, let's see, let's see, god damn it, there's still, why? I mean, popularity's going up, that's good, but I don't want to, I don't want to go towards the rebels, I want to, I want to stay with the government, I want to follow their guidelines, let me be, let me be, you know, I'm trying to do my, my job, I'm trying not to get killed by the, the government, oh god. Please no. Dear editor, one of your employees, Frank, has recently written 
quite a few questionable articles for your paper. We expect you to show your people proper discipline in order to prevent events such as these, especially since they regarded the they, they regarded an employee has a history of disloyal behavior. You will do well to remember that the reluctance in this matter will reflect poorly not only on your employee, but on you as well. So god damn it, Frank. I knew it was gonna be trouble. Alright, we got we got one more. Most respected editor, I'm contacting you as the agent of renowned movie star Harold Finn. I read one of your articles last week and I noticed an error. Mr. Finn did not leave the crash site in question without a scratch. He is not a superhuman and claiming him to be would be outrageous. In fact, he received a bruise on his left knee. Oh no, not a bruise. It might not affect his ability to walk, but I'm sure it hurts quite a bit. Thank you for your time. Pauline Grepsnick, actors and agents of Westport. Well, you know what? I'm making your star an even bread a bit better, bit better, bigger star. There we go. I said the word. Anyway, thank you for watching. This has been Westport Independent. Um, if you liked it, I will be continuing the series if you want to check out more. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching.